Hello, I'm Mike with Ball Forge Miniature Painting, and welcome back to the second part of my series for the Lord of Malice. In this video, I'll show you how I painted both of his heads. If you haven't checked out the first video where I painted the body, the wings, and the base, check it out by clicking the link in the top right corner. With that being said, let's jump right into it. We'll start off by underspraying the heads with a mix of Nagroth Knight and Incubate Darkness, about a 3 to 1 mixture. Just like the skin for the rest of the miniature, we'll add some Tipogar Blue into the mix and use that as our main skin color. Once that's dry, I'll brush on some Ronox Hot as our base color for the horns. This color also ends up being the base color for the teeth as well. With a mix of black and some incubi darkness, I'll outline the different parts of the face, uh, mainly on the forehead. I also blacked out the eyes with this color. Next, I'll highlight the facial features on the heads using various mixtures of Incubite Darkness, Nagroth Knight, Tempogard Blue, and P3 Menoth White Highlight. Because the faces are such a focal point, I really want to introduce striking contrast to the areas that really need them.
While I was at this step, I began to think about the horns. The horns on both heads are in sections rather than one continuous horn as you can see here. So instead of treating the horns as one big gradation from dark brown to bony white, I treat it as several sections of such. The colors I used here are identical to the ones that I used for the bone spikes on the body. I sketch out the lighter parts of the bone using Screaming Skull. After that I glaze in various mixes of Rhinox Hide and Screaming Skull until I achieved the bone color that I liked. I also painted the teeth the same way, doing my best to leave Rhinox Hide in between each tooth. Now that the bones are done, let's move on to the glowing eyes. If you look at a color wheel, you can see that the complementary color for blue is orange, so I use that for the glow. Starting off with hot orange from Vallejo, I lightly glazed the white eye along with the eye socket. It's difficult to see on camera, but I started my brush strokes at the sockets and ended at the center of the eye since that's where I want most of the color to end up. Once I was dried, I'd applied a highlight of Fire Dragon Bright, concentrating on the eyeball itself. To add that final pop of color, I put a dot of Purity White in the center of the eyeball, where the glow would originate. 
And as you can see, I had to bust out the magnifying goggles for this. And once that's done, both heads are complete. So that covers part two of the series. In the final part, we'll take a look at the two weapons for the Lord of Malice. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. Check out my Discord if you want to hang out, and let me know if you want me to cover something in a future video. Also, be sure to check out my sponsor, Reaper Managers, by clicking my referral link down below. For every $40 you spend on the website, you get a choice of a free mini. Check out their site for more details. A huge thank you goes out to my wonderful supporters on Patreon. A.M., Andy, Hugh, Lenore, Mark, Samantha, and William. Your support is what keeps me going. And as always, take care and happy painting.